Brooklyn Independent Television. To us, architecture, it's not a physical thing per se. While we're really interested in tactility and physicality of making something, we're also equally interested in the things that might occur in that place. We think of it as kind of the dynamics of architecture, not just a, a building or a place as a, a stagnant thing, but how it kind of wears through time and living. One of the terms we use, rather than designing things, I think we, we try to think in these temporary projects, for example, about orchestrating. Because a lot of it has to do more with the event and more with how you, how you sculpt architecture to occupy a small space, a small time, and a fairly compact idea. We work a lot in physical model. Almost everything we do ends up, at some point along the process, being played with, manifested somehow physically in model form. I mean, we work also in digital. You intervene in such a way that um, the architect is not evident or where the building or the space is not the kind of main protagonist, but what happens there or the social event is really the protagonist. A project that demonstrates this idea of kind of approach to an urban condition, the infill projects that we did with Macrosy. And conceptually, these are about finding empty urban sites, really kind of prototypical sites under a viaduct, um, on an abandoned corner, um, hidden spaces and found spaces in the city, and deploying very cheap, very um, temporary kind of uh, ideas that are basically low budget, high impact. For example, one was about hanging swings under the viaduct and it was proposed to be up for a very short time and meant to bring joy, an unexpected, almost surreal quality to these urban spaces that you wouldn't, you wouldn't expect from, from a place. And Brooklyn is amazing for that because there are so many places like that that are either discovered but left intentionally undiscovered or are truly new things that are emerging every day. So the point of the big impact is, is in a way to kind of like impact people's imaginations and impact people's memories of a space. The collaboration we did with Macrosy on the uh, mobile dumpster pools, for example, that were on Park Avenue, that was really only on three Saturdays for the summer streets. What, what was so amazing about it was the first week, people sort of knew a little bit, but were mainly just curious. The second week, they had told their friends and it got crowded, and the third week it was like, you know, really fun, it was like a great vibe, and, and, and then it was gone. And it's become, rather than, you know, if it were permanent, it wouldn't become lore. And so part of, it becomes part of a kind of cultural uh, patrimony or something, you know. I Know You is a physical diagram of a social network. Basically, it was, we took a pink surveyor's tape. If I know someone who lives in that apartment, I throw the tape to them and they tie it to their window and then they throw the tape to someone else they know. So it was diagramming this kind of effervescent thing about people you know on your block, but again, that very installation, it became a vehicle for we met lots of people that day. After the advent of the internet and I think the smartphone, there's, there's, an, there's a layer of urban space that exists that's invisible to everyone, but there's this layer of connectivity that, that's there. Given the nature of, and, and speed of, of technology and its evolution, I think that um, in a strange way, that speed is going to necessitate a, a more careful address to physical space, meaning that physical space and, and the role of architecture is going to become that much more significant because those experiences are no longer the theatrical movements that you once, you know, of the 19th century. You know, architects, I think, traditionally are understood as, as like creating permanent, you know, monuments. But in fact, I think that the movement and the necessity of architects is actually more useful in the, in the transient. So that the transient, the things that you see mostly are not so bad, you know. There's a role for, for architects in that regard. It's about people, and it's about space, and it's about what you can do with as little, uh, you know, with as little means as possible. So, it, all the factors are there: the movement, spatial programming, the idea of, of a sort of time-based movement through a space. 
design, color, all of those things are, are significant. Yet it's like doing it on a shoestring. We're trying to run a business, but this is also a vehicle for our own happiness and uh, expressions. Even our name, our name Vamos, is the reason we named it that was because we wanted to transmit positivity. Think about the, the urban environment as a palette and a way of like lifting itself up, finding opportunities in nothing and, and creating something from nothing. Every day. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.